Uba Ragnason. You are a long way from Repton. Do not make pleasant with me, Wolfkist. I know what you did. Did you think you could keep it a secret forever? I cannot say I know what you mean. My brother, Ivar. You banished him to Helheim. Denied him a seat in Odin's hall. You know what he did, Uba. The oaths he broke, the lies he spread. He was my brother, and a king. All this I know, but I do not regret what I did. Speak no more, Eivor. Lies are all you know. I want it settled one on one, feast to feast. Come! to make. I will not hold back. I will show you all the mercy you showed Eva. You would have done the same in my place, Uba. How dare you say such a thing? You did your brother justice by coming here, but you're beaten. I suggest you leave. <clears throat> there is no shame in it. Go, and mourn as you must. Would you have denied me my reward, Eivor, had it come to it? Never. When we meet again, Eivor, may it be as friends. It will. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I have not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It'll be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased.
Nothing hand. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less from a land under Heminger Jarl's rule. <gasps> Snotting hand. It'll be good to see Vili again. Help! Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Make sure the supplies are secured. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. <laughs> But a healthy Jarl beard, it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Heminger Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Far spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. I remember when Vili and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve him in Ayal. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. 
Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large word debt. But my youth rendered me too proud to pay it off. I wanted to raid, not toil. For my failure, Heming Jarl could have taken what he wanted from my family, including our lives. But his heart is kind. He spared us, and I pledged myself to him. Gladly so. So it has ever been. A story of quiet honor. If we had more tales of that kind, the world might be a more forgiving place. Fix the shore! Protect the convoy! Ready! Fire! Convoy! Will Careful, Eivor. These supplies bring fire to the Ukathort siege. The convoy is unscathed. Hemingyard no will be pleased. Pick up. I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Heminga Jarl will be pleased to see you.
To pick Freya's kiss, you came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It is good to see you again. Hey, hey, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebur, should any Picts escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you ate, old friend. You are not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together, unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. For all times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today, for tomorrow we feast! Light the arrows! May they burn with flame unbridled! The pig chief hides behind his men like a coward. No doubt he will be well fortified. Look for him on high ground. I will have his head for him in the yard. Billy and the wolf kissed fight for your side again.
Hides behind his bed like a coward. No doubt he would be well justified.
You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Hemminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Vili who summoned me, or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it, of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership, but his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Trigvi is wise and has a keen mind to lead. At the Alding, no one would doubt his succession if he was named. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer.